Hey. Hey. What are you doing? A little. Hey, little. So I have no idea what this vlog in particular is going to be about. It's actually been a while since I've filmed a vlog that really hasn't had a topic offhand, but I do want to share a story with you guys about something that happened a couple days ago and how I'm hoping that we will be able to try to correct uh, this issue here in a matter of minutes. Sorry, I had to get my coat on because we will be going outside here in a bit. Um, and we actually, we had our first real snow tonight. It's actually more, it's actually snowing right now, but it's, it's like a winter weather like mix under a weather advisory. Winter weather advisory is what they, they call that. So it, it rained, it froze, it snowed, slushed, whatever. It's, it's been nasty almost all day. So let me tell you guys something that I've learned in, in the last couple days. My brother is bringing over a 2012 Chevy Cruze. This Cruze has, I think, roughly around 74,000 miles on it, if I'm not mistaken. But it's his girlfriend's car, and... Um, this is the first time that I have ever done the oil change on a not only a Chevy Cruze but her car in general. So they came to me a couple of days ago. My brother got a hold of me and basically uh, asked if, if I'd be willing to change the oil in this Cruze because um, you know she was actually over and she was kind of freaking out and um, instead of taking it to you know the, uh, a place where she usually gets it done. Um, you know, she figured, you know, I can help them save some money, and I did, um, and I don't mind doing that, but, um, yeah, so, uh, she has had full synthetic oil in this car, uh, every time she gets it done. Don't think it's really necessary, um, Dexos 1, I think is what they call it, uh, that's synthetic blend, and that's what this 1.8 liter four-cylinder in this cruise, uh, requires, however, she bumps it up to the Dexos 2, um, equivalent oil, so that's full synthetic, and uh, yeah, so oil changes are pretty expensive at places <laughs> a lot of times if you're going full synthetic. Well, let me get to the, the story. This car, of course, has a 1.8 liter Ecotec uh, four-cylinder, no turbo. Um, then again, I think all Ecotec engines from GM have the same kind of setup, but uh, it's a setup that I am familiar with because my brother's Ecotec engine in the G6 when he had it uh, had this and then my mom's uh, 04 Malibu Classic also had it and it was an Ecotec engine but these engines require or they have the uh, the oil filter cartridges now they're not the canister filters like you'd find on the bottom of most common cars uh, not the cans hello Okay, I'll be out in a sec. He is here. Okay, I'm outside now, and it just got dark. Hopefully, we can fix that here in a sec. Oh my gosh, I should have thought to unbury this stuff first. Are you gonna stay with all that snow on you? Kev, have you ever been in my vlog? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, so as I was telling you guys before Kevin got here, Here's where the, the oil filter is located on this engine. Now, as you see, it's got a plastic cap. They all have that. Um, this is a brand new plastic cap because for the first time in all of the years that I've ever done oil changes on an Ecotec engine, the cap completely broke. The hex completely broke off of the cap and uh, I had always kind of wondered what was gonna happen the day that <laughs> that happens to me and I'm hoping since this is a brand new cap we're not gonna have this issue now <laughs> we shouldn't we shouldn't cuz uh, it was cold when we did this and it's still cold but the engine is still warm so there should be some flex in that so um, 
But anyway, yeah, the, the entire hex piece broke off of the last cap. I wish I had the cap because I threw it all away. But um, how do you get this off if this hex breaks? So there's really, I tried taking my oil wrench or my uh, oil filter pliers for like a canister filter, tried to wrap it around here and I was able to get the pliers around it, but there was really no room to turn the pliers like because of the angle and stuff. So um, another thing I read was to try and drill a hole through the side of it big enough to get a screwdriver in and use the screwdriver and pry it to unloosen it. Well, can't get the drill in there because of where this is at, this angle. I mean, I was able to get the drill down below, but this AC line uh, pinned it up against this frame down here. So what did we do, Kev? We drove, what, for, to get rid of it? Or yeah, how did we get it off? We hammered it out with we the screwdriver. We hammered it out with the screwdriver, with a screwdriver and a mallet, and it took a little while uh, I was concerned about pieces falling into the actual, uh, you know, engine block, but I think we were okay because the filter obviously was still in there. However, when it came time to getting the filter out, there was another piece in there that I had never seen before that I did not know existed, and that's this thing right here. And at first I thought this was part of the filter that they may have put into the car. Uh, the new filter obviously didn't have this, but as you can see, there are threads on it. This is supposed to thread into the block, and the filter goes around this. Now, um, I wasn't sure how important this piece was because, like, the filter system on his old G6 didn't have this. The, my mom's Malibu didn't have this. This was something I had no idea was even existed uh, in that filter. So, obviously, when I destroyed the filter and destroyed this... I was slightly concerned, but I put the filter in anyway, and then, well, we were kind of pinched for time anyway at that point, but um, then I found out that this is actually kind of an important piece to have, and uh, that's why he brought the car back. We're going to correct this, and thank God the filter, for once, I'm very happy that the filter is up here and not on the bottom of the engine because we don't have to drain any oil. We might lose a little bit because it was just running, but I'll try and do it slow, so... Look, it's turning. <laughs> nice and smooth. <laughs> so, um, I, the reason why I kind of pulled the camera out and wanted to talk about this particular item here is because this item is, uh, you can't buy this item anywhere. And I was very frustrated. The dealership said they sell this, but it has to come with the entire oil filter assembly. And that's $160. And uh, just for this, I wasn't going to replace an entire thing for this. No aftermarket company, I've called several parts stores, no aftermarket company is allowed to make this. This is strictly like a GM product. So finally, after calling a few junkyards, I spent half my morning yesterday trying to find this piece because of this situation. Finally, uh, a junkyard said that they had a trashed motor uh, out of a cruise that they would be able to pull this out of, and this was 20 bucks Compared to 160 I will take it. Still think it was a little too pricey for this, but no. I wonder if there's still, there's still hot oil in there. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here's our filter. Like I said, canister, that thing goes right in the middle there. Heard a lot of uh, sirens tonight. There's a lot going on. Yeah, so that's, the oil kind of ran off and it's sitting on the exhaust, so that's why that's burning. But the, anyway, that piece goes right in there. Now, we did get plastic around there, but I took a pick and I cleaned out all of the plastic chunks. I mean, I tried to get all of the smallest of pieces out of there. Um, there's a valve in there at the very bottom right there. That is a, I think they call that a drain back valve. So if anything gets stuck in that drain back valve and it can't close, this filter doesn't hold enough uh, oil. It just goes back to the pan. And that's kind of, uh, you don't really want that. 
This is probably gonna be really hot going in. I'm probably gonna put gloves on. I don't wanna. I don't, yeah, I don't wanna. <laughs> it had to be okay. Now the nice thing is, I just realized this actually has a hex head on the top. So what I could probably do is I can hand tighten this in a little bit. I may not even have to really tighten it, tighten it, because obviously it's uh, plastic. All right, so that just threads on there. It's threading in nice and easy. We're not cross-threading it. There we go. All right. But I guess this particular piece here actually helps from what... It, that's pretty snug. I'm not going to... There's no need to actually tighten it with the tool. It's on there. All right. So anyway, uh, both dealerships that I ended up calling said that it is actually a pretty important piece to have in there. It, it helps kind of regulate the um, oil pressure that goes up into the filter. Um, and it distributes all of the oil properly throughout the filter but without that the oil pressure can drop in the engine because there's more pressure going to the filter and it can trigger a low oil pressure light uh, plus in weather like this um, it's supposed to work I guess somehow with that drain back valve um, you obviously don't want all of the uh, like especially on a night like this you don't want all of the oil to drain completely out of the filter because um, it takes longer to circulate, especially when it's thicker. Um, so yeah, that's, I guess, an important piece. And I've never seen that piece before. I didn't know it was going to exist in this. But now I know. Lesson learned. We probably shouldn't have destroyed the cap the way we did, because then we wouldn't have destroyed that. But I didn't know. <laughs> I had no idea. So let that be a lesson. You can't get that piece anywhere. And uh, maybe try to do a little more research on the parts at hand before going all willy-nilly on it, I guess. Now that oil there, again, that's from when I took it off, so. That's probably going to burn for a little bit. It's probably going to start burning real soon. Yeah. No, it should, it should be alright. I think we're good. That, that, I can't get over how hot this light gets. Holy crap. Yeah, there it goes. It's starting to burn. It'll stop. No. Alright, and uh, that's how you do that. <laughs>